Hello and welcome to the Pig Edge, Chagas Pig Podcast with me, Kieran Carroll, bringing you all the latest news, information and advice to keep Irish pig farmers up to date. And for this episode, we're looking at the PEPS2 scheme with Damien Ward from the Meat Policy Division in the Department of Agriculture. And I first asked Damien, what is PEPS2 and what are its objectives? At the end of March, the EU Commission announced the adoption of exceptional adjustment aid to producers and agriculture sectors, which have been affected by Russia's illegal invasion of Ukraine. The aid provided for was granted following a transfer of funds from the EU's reserve for crisis in the agricultural sectors. These funds were allocated on a proportional basis across the EU 27 member states. And the aid allocation to Ireland of these EU funds was to the value of 15.8 million. And there are detailed requirements and conditionality attached to this allocation set by the EU, which Ireland must meet in how these funds are used. And having brought a proposal to government on foot of the, this EU decision, Minister McConnell recently announced the opening of applications for the PIG Exceptional Payment Scheme 2, so PEPS 2. It's a total fund of 13 million that's been made available for this voluntary scheme for pig farmers, with the remaining 2.8 million being allocated to the Irish horticulture, horticultural sector. This new pig scheme is additional to the first pig exceptional payment scheme, which opened back in February this year and which had a fund of up to 7 million. This was an origin short term response to assist producers that would be viable, but for the extremely challenging prevailing conditions at the time and allow space for a more medium term adjustment to market signals. Farmers were able to receive a payment of up to 20,000 20, euros on that scheme and all payments have been processed that's now under the PEPS one scheme. So in total, 20 million um, euros has been provided to assist pig farmers through this particularly challenging time. The schemes form part of a wider government response with you know, Minister McConlogue and Minister for State, Martin Hagen, having had ongoing engagement with all stakeholders um, throughout this current downturn. They've engaged with the Street Strategic Banking, Banking Corporation of Ireland and the main banks in terms of you know, looking at the financial instruments that are available to support big farmers. And added to this, Board Bia has intensified its promotional work both domestically and internationally. And of course, uh, yourselves and your colleagues in, in Chagas have intensified the ongoing support and advisory activity to pig farmers. And all of this has been in tam- in, in happening in tandem to these, to these two schemes. Just in terms of the objectives of the pig, pig, PEPS2 scheme, the scheme is designed to address market imbalance arising from inflated feed costs because of the situation in Ukraine and to contribute to food security by aiming to protect the viability of Irish pig farmers. It's the poor farmers who demonstrate commitment to more efficient use of resources through the eligibility requirements of participation in animal health and husbandry measures, which are seen as key drivers in productivity and feed efficiency. And PEPS2 supports farmers to undertake a reduction in production for a period when the cost of production are likely to exceed market returns. Okay, so exactly what does it involve in terms of the scheme and who's, who's eligible to apply? Well, as with any measure involving significant finan- financial um, amounts um, being provided, the scheme involves applicants needing to meet a number of eligibility and conditionality criteria in order to qualify for receiving payment. The eligibility, eligibility requirements includes the standard terms we would have in a scheme such as this, you know, applicants must be 18 years or over, they must have an active herd owner status and have produced 200 or more pigs in the calendar year 2021. The other eligibility requirements and measures pig farmers will be very familiar with. For example, uh, the national pig, uh, Daffin pig census for 2021 must be returned before, have been returned before the 14th of April this year. Um, uh, The board be a quality assurance scheme, applicants must be a member of that scheme or apply to be a member of that scheme prior to the 30th of August this year. They must have completed both the TASA uh, pig health check biosecurity review and the tail biting risk assessment, um, which are provided free of charge by AHI. And those assessments must have been completed between the 1st of January, 2021 and the 11th of July, 2022, which is the closing date for the scheme. They must also have demonstrated participation in the DAFM pig welfare inspection program and they must have up-to-date anti, uh, anti-microbial usage data submitted to the department by the 11th of July. 
And can you clarify, just you mentioned there the, the, the herd, can you clarify the requirement around the nominated herd or, you know, the one herd per application? Applicants must, must nominate one herd that they wish to make the application in and to which they wish to receive payment for. All of the eligibility require criteria I have outlined must apply to that nominated herd. Also, the conditionality requirements, which we can speak about, speak about as well, must apply to that nominated herd also. Okay. And in terms of, you mentioned as well, 200 pigs produced in, in the year 2021. Uh, does that include sale of sows, you know, called sows and any wieners sold as well as finishers? Yeah, as you say, the nominated herd must have a minimum level of 200 pigs produced in the 2021 calendar year to be eligible. These pigs may be pigs that were sent to slaughter, exported or sold commercially from the breeding herds during, during that reference period. There are some other conditions attached to the application. Could you mention a couple of those first? Just, just, just to clarify that the, the, the first the first list is, is the eligibility list. And, and Correct, then yeah. following on from that, there's a number of conditions attached to the application. Um, and again, this is very much in respect of the nominated herd to which payment is, is applying. So farmers must remain in pig farming until the 30th of April 2023. And they must reduce breeding herd numbers by 10% in the herd to which payment applies as compared to the DAF from National Pig Census 2021 return for that herd. Farmers are required to submit a self-declaration before the 31st of December 2022 up to 10% reduction in the nominated herd. And they must maintain that reduction for a period of four and subsequent and consecutive months from the date the declaration is received by the department. Okay. And so can you explain then that 10% reduction in breeding pigs, how it applies to farmers who have or, or will reduce their breeding pig numbers? Well, yes, it, this, it, this is really, you know, it's one of the conditionalities of the scheme. The condition, as I said, is to reduce breeding pig numbers by 10% as compared to the breeding pig numbers kind of returned in the National Pig Census 2021. And as I've said, maintain that reduction for four months. In terms of the rationale, the objective of the reduction measure is to incentivize pig farmers to reduce the number of breeding, breeding pigs in order to allow for more efficient use of resources and reduce their overall feed costs. The, motivating, the motivation ultimately being to improve the viability of these businesses, which would prove viable except for the unexpected crisis uh, directly impacted by Russia's illegal invasion of Ukraine. The reduction in production is a measure which addresses the immediate market disturbance by incentivizing a necessary adjustment and, in the longer term, supports food security by assisting these producers to remain vi viable. Okay, and it is, it's breeding herds only. It doesn't apply to finishers. That's correct, isn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah, given the case that the conditionality relating to reducing yeah. breed pigs cannot be met by, by finisher herds, that is the case, yes. Perfect, okay. And how is the, the reduction in breeding herd, how will that 10%, how will it be monitored or verified, you know? Percentage based on the spot verification checks of the declared reduction will be undertaken at any stage during the four-month period of a farmer's declaration. This will entail visits to farms by department colleagues on the veterinary or technical side. Those visits will be announced in advance and farmers will be contacted to ar arrange visits in the interests of on-farm biosecurity measures. So I, 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 it, it would be prudent, you know, that farmers maintain very, very, very good, clear and accurate records um, of, of, of those reductions and any movements of farms um, over that four-month period. Okay, so to be available for inspection if, if the department called to, to, to verify it or whatever, yeah. Yes. Okay. And then it, you mentioned census there a bit, and I've had a couple of queries myself and know some of the other advisors are, if, if a farmer hasn't kept a record of the, the census from, from last year, is there a way they can find out exactly what they did submit? How did they do that? There is. There is any farmer who has not kept a record, record can contact the area of the department which undertakes the national, the DAFM national pig census. And th that division can be emailed at pig ID, that's P I G I D, all one word, at agriculture.gov.ie. And our colleagues there will supply them with a copy of the figures submitted in their 2021 pen census return. Producers can also check this figure on their ag food account on the AIM section or animal identification and movements. The information is available under census, but producers can also check the exact number of pig sales as recorded with NPITS in 2021 under movements. 
Okay, perfect. And on that end pits, then what can farmers do if they've unreconciled pig movements for, for 2021? advise farmers to contact them pits and that's the national pig movement helpline and their number is 0818191000 and depending on the nature of the query the issue may be resolved um, by m pits or um alternatively they will be referred on to the department to, to the department with a view to having any reconciled movements resolved and in terms of the, the TASA biosecurity and the tail risk factor assessments, um, you mentioned those earlier. So some farmers might have done those initially day one, so it would be before a certain date. I just want to clarify for, for the listeners, just what are the dates that they must have, you know, so what, what do they do if they uh, had their audit or their inspection or their, their assessment done before the dates? Uh, what do they need to do now, just so you can explain that to them? Well, I think the eligibility criteria of the scheme is specific on the date parameters of 1st of January 2021 to the 11th of July 2022. So if a farmer has completed the TASIC biosecurity and tails risk assessments prior to this date, follow-up assessments will be necessary. Okay. Perfect, yeah. Uh, and then just to clarify as well, the, the, the TASA tails risk factor assessment uh, and the DAFM pig welfare inspection program, there are two different things because we've had a couple of queries on that. That's correct, isn't it? They're two separate. They are separate, but they're complementary. And both are ways to help farmers achieve the goal of improving pig welfare and specifically raising pigs with intact tails. And it, it is the case that many pig farmers are making progress on this. The TASA tail boiling risk assessment is a process whereby a specifically trained PVP can carry out a risk assessment on a pig farm for tail biting risk factors and then provide recommendations to the farmer on things that they should do to address these factors and improve the situation. This TASA process is voluntary, though it is a very important part of facilitating farmers to deal with the specific tail biting risk of factors for their farms and to eventually move towards rearing pigs with intact tails and a selection of pens. The DAFM Pig Welfare Tails Inspection Program is different in that it is part of the department's official controls for animal welfare. And by that I mean the department is required to carry out official controls or inspections in relation to animal welfare to ensure farmers of, of all types, it should be said, not just pigs are complying with EU law. The program aims to assist farmers in identifying welfare deficits associated with tail biting risk factors in a selection of pens. And in general, the program involves up to four inspections by department veterinary inspectors at six monthly intervals. Okay, and if a farm, I know many farms have had that inspection already, at least one, maybe some maybe have had two. If a farm hasn't yet had a visit from the Daffin Welfare Division uh, regarding this inspection program, what should they do? Any farmer who has not yet participated should contact the nearest, nearest regional veterinary office and schedule their first inspection before the closing date of the scheme, which is, as I've said, the 11th of July. Contact details for all of the RVOs are included in the terms and conditions of the scheme. And just to be clear, they must schedule prior to the deadline for the scheme. The actual inspection under this program can occur thereafter. And now getting on to the, the rates of payment. So you, you mentioned the, the, the amount, the total amount, the, the, the 15 million um, earlier, and well, 13 million for, for the pig sector. Uh, what, what are the rates of payment and, and how are they broken down? There's 14 rates of payment. Um, it's a graduated payment structure. At the kind of the lower end, farmers producing 200 to 500 pigs can qualify for a payment of 3,000 euros. But then at the higher end, um, farmers producing over 6,500 in the calendar year can apply for a payment of 100,000 euros. Very good. Yeah, that's good. It's good. So it's scaled then basically on the size, I suppose, and, uh, and how many pigs uh, are being sold off a given farm. In, in terms of payment then, I suppose the crucial thing, um, the, the application will go in from the farmer, but they need, in order to get payment, then they need to have their details up to date. How can a farmer ensure that the, their payment information is up to date on the DAFM CCS system? Well, I, I suppose, firstly, if a farmer has been paid recently under the PEPS-1 scheme and their bank details have not changed in the interim period, then they don't need to do anything. If there have been changes, they can contact the direct credit system, which is in uh, the department's accounts division in Cavan. The people therein can assist in changing any bank details and, and so forth, updating bank details. And the phone number there is 049 436 8283. 
And just to, to remind us as we're coming to a close here, and just to remind us, the closing date, you've mentioned a couple of times, closing date for applications and where then must the application be sent? The closing date is the 11th of July, uh, 2021. Applications can be returned electronically on the do downloaded applications document, and they should be returned by email to uh, the dedicated address, which is PEPS2, again, P-E-P-S-2, that's the numerical two, at agriculture.gov.ie. And for further information, like we've, we've had a lot of queries and we're open to, to taking queries from farmers for, who are looking for further information, but what are the, the official DAFM uh, further information sources? All, all of the details in terms of application forms, the, dec the, the, the declaration and the self-declaration form, and also information material. It's available on the, the government.ie website. And I think that the simplest way to um, defining that website, if you Google Daffam Pig Peps 2 on any browser, the relevant page will appear at the top of your search results and all the information will be included therein. Excellent. That's brilliant, Damien. Thanks very much. Thanks a million. Appreciate that. Thanks very much, Kira. That's it for this latest episode of The Pig Edge. And my thanks to Damien Ward from the Department of Agriculture for joining me on the show. Don't forget to tune in to The Pig Edge for all your pig production news and follow on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts so that you never miss a show. And for more information on farming, go to chagas.ie. I'm Kieran Carl and thanks for listening. <laughs>